the artistic stuff started when uh, I was a very little boy. And my mother was a painter, weaver, fabric artist. But I was raised as an army brat, so I got to see a good chunk of this country and a little bit of Europe. I studied printmaking, which involved also photography, and I minored in sculpture. And my mother decided to take it upon herself to start entering me in shows back here. I like it here, I like a small city and I have been creating since. I love the mountains. I love the rivers in this place. And uh, I love the colors that I've seen in this place. And uh, I just began to really kind of feel comfortable and, and be able to create things. I draw a lot. I, draw with ink and pencil and different media. And I also do, some people describe it as fine art photography, but I don't see myself as a photographer. I see myself as an artist who uses the medium of photography to create images. I find that sometimes drawing figure drawing allows, for example, my brush movement to be more fluid, to dance. You know, because when you draw with these, you begin to realize the brush can be used with these, so it's not halting. So a lot of my work will have this striping technique or ribbon technique in it, because I really like the flow of the paint. I don't know if I, whether my ego or my id accepts the idea of a legacy. Um, I lived in a certain time, I created pieces in a certain time, I made friendships and partnerships that are magical to me. I'm not so much worried whether I've left a legacy. I'm, I don't worry about it at all, to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm alive now, and what I can give now as a person, as an individual, is what's important. It's fun, and that's what it's all about. It's wonderful fun, and it's the rhythm of the work and the fun that make everything worth it. Maybe that's the legacy.